Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make an apple crisp. This is a really nice combination of apples with a streusel-like topping. So um, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 190 degrees Celsius. And then uh, you need a, either an 8 inch or a 9 inch, so it's 20 to 23 uh, centimeter um, deep dish, either a, a dish like this or even a pie plate, and either butter or spray it with a nonstick um, vegetable spray. And then we'll start with the apples. Um, you need any firm textured apple that will keep its shape while it's baked. Uh, good choices are like the Granny Smith or Golden Delicious or, or Brayburn, John, John of Gold or Jonathan. And uh, we need to uh, peel it and cut it into one inch chunks. So I'll just show you how I do uh, the apples. I cut it in half and then I just take a sharp knife and just cut down on either side of the core and then just along the bottom here. Let's do that for both halves. And then just uh, take your paring knife and just peel it. And we will need um, six cups, which is about 1.2 liters of apples, which is depending, I mean, that's anywhere from four to six apples, depending on the size. And you can use, um, what I've done here is I'm using both Granny Smith plus Brayburn. So you can use a couple different varieties. Adds a lot more depth of flavor than just one. So once you've got them peeled, then I just cut them into one inch chunks or thereabouts. Not too critical. Okay, so what I've done here already is peeled and done most of them. And then what you need to do to prevent them from uh, turning brown is just squeeze a half of a lemon, the juice, over the top and toss that. And that way they won't turn brown while we make the topping. So to that I'm going to add three tablespoons of white granulated sugar, that's about 40 grams. You can vary the amount of sugar depending on how tart or how sweet your apples are. And I'm going to also add about one teaspoon of grated lemon zest, which is the outer lemon, um, yellow skin of the lemon. So just toss that. And then just pour it into your pie pan. If you had some blackberries or raspberries, you could also toss in about a cup. So now we'll make the uh, streusel topping. So I'm just going to do it in the food processor. If you don't have one, you could just do it in a large bowl. That'll be fine. So what we're going to do is just put everything in here. That'll be a half a cup, which is about 65 grams of uh, white all-purpose flour and a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, that's about 55 grams, a quarter of a cup of uh, white sugar, 50 grams, oops, missed some there, and then about a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, apples and cinnamon always goes nice, just still a pinch of salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon, and then um, I'm using a third of a cup, about 30 grams of rolled oats. I like to use the old fashioned, but if you can use a quick cooking as well. And a third of a cup, about 40 grams of chopped nuts. I've used walnuts. You could use pecans, you could use almonds, any type you have. And then I'm just going to put over the top 
Um, about six tablespoons of butter. You can use salted or unsalted. Cut into little pieces. So it just all goes in there. And then the top here. I'm just going to pulse this until it's um, all, like crumbs, like coarse meal. That's it. Easy enough. So then all we need to do is just pour that over the top. Try to put it in an even layer. Good. So, um, into the oven for about between 30 to 40 minutes until the top is nicely golden brown. And when you put, I like to like put a sharp knife into one of the apples and just, just until they're tender. You don't want them mushy. So, about 30, 40 minutes. So our apple crisp is now done. As you can see, it's beautiful golden brown colors, just a little bubbling around the edges. And if you take a sharp knife and just put it down into the apples, they'll be tender. You don't want them mushy, just tender. So normally I would just let this sit for, I don't know, 15 to 30 minutes to let it cool um, before serving, but I will, uh, I'm just going to scoop a little out here to show you what it looks like. So just have, I like a bowl. You use a plate and then just, if you let it cool a bit, it'll, the juices will thicken. So serve as much as you want. There you go. And this is really nice with a scoop of uh, vanilla ice cream over top. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.